It's a bright specimen you've given. The result can be printed off right there and then. What happens is you, you, you breathe into this machine and it gives, uh, it prints out two receipts. And what happens in, what's supposed to happen in that case is that the, the guard is presented with these two pr pr receipts that are printed out. Uh, that guard signs both, gives them to you. You then sign in the place provided for you, both, you must sign them. And then that's given back to, to the guard. And then the guard gives you one and he keeps one or she keeps one. That's what happens then. And in that case, then you'll be probably charged and uh, brought to court within two weeks or maybe the next day. Well, if you fail the breath test, uh, you're brought to the local station and then uh, you're asked to either give us, uh, you're brought to the, the intoxilizer room or the room where the intoxilizer machine is kept and then you're, you're, you're brought through the process of blowing into that machine to give what's known as two specimens of your breath. Um, sometimes the, the intoxilizer machine isn't working. In that case, then you, it, would, it reverts back to blood or urine, where a doctor is then called. Uh, but in, if you fail a breath test, you'll be, you'll be arrested and brought to the station, yeah. But the mandatory ones mean you must provide, yeah. And what happens if you refuse? If you refuse, you can be arrested uh, and brought to the station. And then you'll be asked to give a, a specimen of blood or urine or breath at that point. Um, people sometimes think, well, if I don't give a sample, they've got nothing to test. And if they don't, if they're nothing to test, they can't prove that I had anything in my system. And that's true. But if you fail, if you fail or refuse to give a sample, you're going off the road for four years, which is the outside maximum. The maximum you could be ever put off the road for in drink or drug driving and blood, urine or breath is three. But if you refuse, you get four. It's really punished if you refuse. So the idea you might avoid it by not giving a specimen is absolutely disastrous. You'll get more than the maximum for that. For the guards to, to, to pull you over and, and get you to give a sample of saliva, you just had to be breaking the law. Now that's a very, it's, it's, it's a very wide ambit. The 2010 Act allows them to demand a saliva sample from anyone who's breaking the law. You don't, uh, you don't have to, all you have to do is, is, is in, you know, create some breach of the law in some way. I've had people who've been not using their indicators coming out of a petrol station as a pretext to stop them and demand a saliva sample. And then they give a saliva sample and if it shows up, they're being arrested. Uh, that's any little, any little infraction at all is enough to justify a stop. And in some cases, it's, I think it's quite unfair, to be honest.